In this video, I will show you an interesting feature of plasticity that allows you to perform an extrusion with shape adaptation. I will start a new project and begin by creating a cylinder. The dimensions of the cylinder do not matter much. We are creating any cylinder, and now I will create a rectangle whose center will lie at the center of the cylinder. The dimensions of the rectangle also do not matter much. Now we will move this rectangle a little bit away. I select G and move the rectangle by any value. We can move it freely or specify a specific value here. The goal of this lesson is to show you the extrusion with surface shape adaptation. So the value of the offset at this moment does not matter much. And okay, we have a rectangle, we have a cylinder, and I would like to add an extrusion of the rectangle here in such a way that the shape of the rectangle's face adapts to the shape of the cylinder. We can do this in several ways. The first way is to use the match face command. We add any extrusion of any value, click OK, then I select the face that is to be adapted to the shape of another body, and press the F key. I look for the match face command. I select this command, and now I select the face to which this specified face is to adapt. I select the cylinder, click OK, and in this way we have created such a body. We added the extrusion of the rectangle in such a way that the shape of this face was adapted to the shape of this body. This is one of the ways we can do this. Now I will turn off the visibility of this body. The second way is simply to perform any extrusion. We accept it by right clicking. Then we select this face and add a piece of extrusion. As long as this command is active, we select the wall to which we want to adapt the shape of the extruded wall. This option also has the advantage that at this moment we can change the length of the entire extrusion. This face will still have the shape of this body. We have created something like this. Here, of course, we can use a different shape. I will hide the cylinder and, for example, create a sphere. I will turn off the visibility of this body and now we can add the extrusion of this rectangle. The shape of this extrusion will be adapted to the shape of the sphere. This is quite an interesting option and can be very useful in some cases. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.